Yes, it's that favorite time of the day once again. Welcome to Satoshi's Bitcoin Chart Show. This is a Bitcoin forecast, the strength of the system, the health of the network, where we find out what's up with what is going down. Today's date is Friday, the 29th of July, 2022. Without further ado, let's just jump straight into it. Buy BSV.live, the best place to buy Bitcoin SV online, the original protocol and genuine Bitcoin. Here we go. Right, let's do this. So we've got CoolCoin BTC 23,990. Oh, that's going to hurt because it's got a fundamental economic value of precisely zero because it's a worthless security offering. You've got Bcrash up 157. What a joke. And then uh, Fisher Price Cash. Who cares? But then we've got Bitcoin. The original protocol goes right back to the Genesis block. It hasn't changed, making it the real Bitcoin, the true Bitcoin, the genuine Bitcoin, and the world's first and only ever digital commodity, backed by the value of data sovereignty making it the most valuable commodity on earth because it's an extension of our own personal freedoms and liberties. And a data protocol can only be commoditized with a fixed supply, a locked protocol, infinite scale, economic competition in the form of proof of work and a chain of digital signatures for common, common accountability. And those five principal constructs are only in place on the original protocol and genuine Bitcoin BSV. Oh yeah. All right, let's get on with the rest of these figures. So, so we've had movements in the price across the board. It'd be interesting to see who, which move first. So we've got uh, Bitcoin, the most valuable commodity on earth. Yours today for just $66. <laughs> we've got hash rate 0.25%. Let's have a quick look at that over three months. Here we go. Yep, looking stable. That's good. We'll take that. Network node 0.48, transactions 87.36, and block size 98.32. Absolutely massive. Remember, these are data management networks. No data, no use case. So the block size is the amount of data flowing onto the network. The data is uploaded via the transactions. The transactions are processed by the nodes that create blocks and supply the hash rate. And the hash rate is attracted to the value, which is meant to be representative of the price. But the price is currently speculative because people don't have a clue what Bitcoin really is. But when education catches up with speculation, their speculative prices will soon start to match their economic fundamental values, which means BTC is going to zero, Bcrash is going to zero, Fish Price Cash is going to zero, and Bitcoin, well, do your own research and you can figure it out. Yes, indeed. Listen to my show, pick up the hints and tips. Let's have a quick look at these blocks coming through. So we've got Tau fairly evenly spread today. Oh no, SBI Crypto having a belter down the bottom. Let's have a quick look at these block sizes just because I miss them on a daily basis. All right, let's go right the way down. Let's have a look. Here we are. Here we are. Oh, so we've got uh, 238 megabytes, 639. We've got a one, we've got a gigabyte block, two gigabyte blocks, and a 2.4 gigabyte block. All within the uh, all within the last 30 blocks. We will take that. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, made my day. Excellent. Right, here we go. This is the hash rate. So hash rate follows price, follows value, follows utility, follows creativity, initiative and intelligence. If you are intelligent and you apply creativity and initiative, you can make something useful. When something is useful, it can then create value. When it creates value, it can then develop a price. When it develops a price, it can then be measured against the cost of other goods and services and used as a medium of exchange. Remember, if something is useless, it is worthless. It's as simple as that. Proof of work by network, again, it's all coming over to Bitcoin, which is BSV, because it's the only, it's what, it's the, uh, the only commoditized data network, the original protocol, and genuine Bitcoin. Right, let's have a look at the transfer fee. So it's currently 6,595 times cheaper to transact on Bitcoin than CoreCoin. Uh, oh, for the first time in a long time, this is 0.4% more profitable to mine on Bcrash. That's quite funny. That will change very soon. Uh, it's currently 4.5% more profitable to mine on SV. We'll take that. So it looks like uh, prices of other coins have moved and then maybe BTC is following suit. Oh dear, people losing faith. Daily average Bitcoin block size by network. Again, just Bitcoin absolutely smashing it. Transactions by network, Bitcoin smashing it. Transactions per block, Bitcoin smashing it. Fees USD, Bitcoin smashing it. Fees Satoshi's Bitcoin smashing it. Here we go. And this is daily. So this is daily Bitcoin fee to block reward ratio. So the red line that we're looking at there is going to match the solid blue line here. As the block reward gets cut in half every 210,000 blocks, the block fee will eventually surpass the block reward, and then we have an economically self-sustaining system, which is what we are gunning for, uh, which is why all the utility is going on chain. Daily accumulated Bitcoin blockchain growth by network. Dare we have a look at this? Let's have a quick look. Let's see where we are now. We were uh, 4 points. 
4.78 something. Let's have a look. What have we got? 4.83 terabytes. We'll take that. Beautiful, beautiful. Here we go. All right, so let's have a look at these uh, hash rate then. So global hash rate seven days, global hash rate 24 hours. Core coin hash rate is all very similar because they've got 99% of the hash rate. But we've got uh, SBI crypto still mining on there. Uh, B crash, look at this, absolutely hilarious. So we've got other miners with 66.67%. Just keeping the profitability at bay. Fisher price cash, again, Hathor on there keeping profitability at bay. And then we've got Bitcoin. BSV, the original protocol and genuine Bitcoin. SBI crypto with 39.5. Tau with 27.08. Uh, good to see SV pool still on there. Um, having trouble though with the hash rate of the other mining pools. They've got mining Dutch on there. Don't really know what their plan is. And then uh, other miners with uh, 23.61. Looking very healthy there. Very healthy. Uh, all right, and uh, so the reason it's healthy is because we don't want any shitcoin enterprises on the chain. And the reason we don't want any shitcoin enterprises on the chain is because the only thing they do is dollar worship, which then leads on to price manipulation, which we'll look at now in the short positions. So this is Bitcoin, the original protocol, and genuine Bitcoin. Look at this. Just because it hasn't got the ticker symbol of BTC because it was stolen, uh, short traders are now giving it a short ratio of 89.2. That's coming down. That is coming down. Are some of the dirty traders starting to wake up? We'll monitor this with time. Oh, look, short rate, the short positions have actually uh, increased as the price went up. So they're still expecting it to come down. Fools. Fools. Uh, right, let's have a look at CoreCoin BTC, Segwit Protocol. So this coin came into existence on the 24th of August 2017. So it's basically a brand new coin, a new protocol. And yet just because it carries the ticker symbol BTC, Trade dirty traders are giving it a short ratio of just 2.35. Oh, it's going up. I mean, that should be a short ratio of 100% because it's got no economic value whatsoever. Let's have a look at uh, BitInfo charts then. Here we go. Charles, look at this beautiful transactions last 24 hours. We've got Bitcoin with 2.3 million transactions. Uh, look at that. So that's representing 42.1% of the overall transactions on the entire market or the transaction volume. Leaving XRP with just 24.7 and Ethereum with 21.8. What a joke. So uh, XRP is already at maximum capacity with their transactions because it's a centralized network. So they've just turned it up to the max. And Ethereum can't scale because it was created by a schoolboy. Oh dear. All right. So for any newbies watching this for the first time, if you're wondering what a mining operation or a node looks like, these are they. This is the backbone to the new global financial system, the world's first ever commercial internet. Blows my mind every time. Just amazing. Uh, let's have a look at Chainlytics. Look at this. They've delisted the original protocol and genuine Bitcoin. So all we've got is dirty shit coins on there. Uh, but they've also got XRP in there just for a joke. What a laugh. Uh, let's have a look at Coin Carbon Cap. So here we've got the genuine Bitcoin listed. We've got maximum or uh, absolute transactions per kilowatt hour. 6,101. We'll take that. Followed in second place by Bcrash with 35. But then this dirty segment protocol with just two transactions per megawatt hour. Good grief. What a joke. Uh, scaling test network. Let's have a look at this. So we've had a 3.8 gigabyte block mined on the mainnet in the last 24 hours. We'll take that. Let's have a look at uh, BSV data. Here we go. So we'll have a look at this over seven days. Why not? All right. Let's see what's going on with daily data size. Let's have a look. Uh, Meta ID producing 10.82 gigabytes on a seven day moving average. That's huge. We'll take that. And run protocol now with, oh, what is this? What is this number? All right, so 1,171,115 transactions from uh, run protocol. Wow. All right. So that's obviously related to crypto fights. We'll have a look at applications now and actually look at crypto fights themselves. Here we go. So again, seven day moving average will be nice. Let's have a quick look. Here we go, seven days. Let's move on down. Uh, yeah, look at this daily transactions, crypto fight. So that's 1,161,415 transactions. My two cents now with 264,000 transactions. And Malaysia, uh, 201,000. That is a huge increase. P gain 7,364. DXS up 7,161. Wow. 
Massive. So it just goes to show that Peer Games is actually even more popular than TDA. Well, TDXB is still very popular. But remember, dirty traders can be unsullied on DXS app. Let's have a look at trends.cash. Here we go. Right. Apps ranking by performed action. Jet run crypto fights than my two cents. Look at that. Substantial increase in transactions there from my two cents. That's fantastic to see. Uh, apps ranking by money spent. Uh, really X. What's going on there? Uh, leaving DXS and TDXP in second and third. Never seen that before. I uh, don't know what's going on in Relix there, but uh, that's that's quite substantial if the figures are correct. If the figures are correct. Let's have a look at CryptoQuant. Let's have a look at this then. There's that one. Here we go. Right. So, yeah, Exchange is still cashing out of their dirty uh, Segwit protocol. Watch on chain. So we've got pet ashes of 511 pet ashes per second. And we've had uh, 2.3 million transactions in the last 24 hours. Whale wallet still at 903,000 uh, Bitcoin. That's absolutely huge. Uh, the morning run. Let's have a quick look at this. So look, oh, look at this. We've had two and a half million purchases of Bitcoin over the last 24 hours. That's huge. That's massively increasing. So precisely 2,541,131 purchases over the last 24 hours. That's massively improving. Uh, let's have a look at Livecoin, which so we've got a market cap of $1.1 trillion. And let's have a look at CoreCoin. Trade volume 5.57. Uh, actually, let's have a quick look at the price chart just for... Uh, oh, interesting. Right, we'll, we'll see if that matches. It's on over 24 hours. Okay, so when did that have a price pump? Let's have a look. Lowest point was a... So yeah, 3.10. 3.10 p.m. yesterday. All right. Interesting. So we've got uh, three stable coins in the top six of the market cap. What a joke. Remember, they're just simply made up at the touch of a button. Unbelievable. And we've got Bitcoin showing a price of $64. That is also on the move. Uh, oh, vo trade volume, 4.7. That's a substantial increase. Um, oh, look at this. When was that the, the low point? Oh, look, it looks like 305. Oh, 310, the market might have moved together, but that's actually increased uh, in terms of percentage wise uh, more than Corcoran. Look at that. Wow. Now that topped to uh, $67. Mm, interesting. Great stuff. Let's have a look at the, the uh, depth chart. 1.5 million bids versus 1.3 million asks. Price on the way up immediately. And I uh, just found this one on uh, Coindesk. I thought it looked quite cool. Let's have a look at this over um, a four hour chart. I'll close the adverts, thank you. Here we go. Let's move that along. Oh. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. All right. Always, uh, always good to look at new charts. Yeah, where did that go? Let's sixty-seven point two eight, sixty-seven point four six. That might be the highest one. Yeah, sixty-seven point four six. That's all right. Right. Let's have a look at Coin Gecko. So, how are we feeling about it today, Coin Gecko, with a price of sixty-four dollars currently at the moment? Feeling good. 91%, we'll take that. Let's have a look at the tether weather. Let's see how we're doing. Oh, it's in the red over uh, over 24 hours. Green over seven days. Let's have a look at market cap. Oh, we've had an, oh, we've had an increase, uh, an increase. So again, they're trying to defend the price. They are trying to defend the price. And we've got a timeline on this. Oh, look at that. So they printed that. Uh, so 1.09 a.m. Wow, look at that. So this is this is the only reason that BTC moves. There is no one buying it. Literally, it's tether printing to try and defend the price to prevent price discovery from kicking in on the genuine Bitcoin. That's all it is because there's n you can't do anything with BTC. It's got a one megabyte block size and the digital signatures have been segregated, meaning it's economically, legally worthless. And it's also useless. 
because it has no utility due to the one megabyte block size. Honestly, this is the only way they can defend the price with this absolute pumping of this shit. Wow, that's quite telling. That is very telling. Uh, let's have a look at Bitfinex. Let's see how we're doing here. So this is uh, Bitcoin versus USD. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. Looking very, looking very strong there. Let's have a look at this over the four-hour chart. Come on. We can do this. Maybe refresh that page. That'll do. Come on. Let's do this. There we are. Ooh, look at that. That's a substantial increase from the uh, 26th of July. Anybody got in there, they're going to be uh, sitting uh, pretty. Very nice. And uh, let's have a look. This should be an interesting. So this is Bitcoin versus CoolCoin. Look at that. That is, well, there was all a net positive. Look at that. That is going up. So again, it's just uh, Tether trying to defend the price of BTC against uh, against the prices of uh, the genuine Bitcoin coming through, which has got real utility behind it. That's exciting stuff. That is very exciting stuff. All right, and this is a core coin versus USD. Look at that. Look, no manipulation there whatsoever. That was that would have been the tether prints. Look, they've they've printed tether to try and defend the price to move it against uh, to move it against the genuine Bitcoin. Look, look at that. Look, they're that they are not natural. They're not natural at all. That is somebody trying to defend the price, printing all that tether. There's got nothing. Look, and the traders are just like, thank you very much. We'll take that. There's nobody using it. There's nobody buying it. It doesn't do anything. Wow. All right. Let's have a look at Coinbase Global. Yeah, that's not looking pretty at all. Down 81% from uh, from it from the start. Great investment there. Not. And micro strategy again. Just you know, speculators pumping and dumping whatever. Uh, Silverfish. Oh, look at this. So we've now had 4,327 views of that so far. Motoring away. Please share, 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 share. Uh, remember, I've time stamped all the different sections of the movie so you can work your way through it and find out what is going on uh, today. Or in, should we say, in today's world. Uh, right, here we go. So this is a countdown to the Nothing Burger again. We've already had uh, the, the SEC investigating Kraken and Coinbase. So it, this, leaves, this means we've just got three days to go, uh, you know, to see whether or not uh, the name Bitcoin is going to be enforced on the original protocol and genuine Bitcoin. So um, the reason the calendar is important is because CSW did say here at the end of June, very shortly, in fact, within weeks, people are going to start to understand that calling BTC Bitcoin and referring to this technology that is illegally passing itself off as Bitcoin comes at a cost. Not a minimal cost, not one that only the big players face, one that potentially everyone who continues to use that term will face, and one that if they don't stop calling the BTC system, that's core coin, uh, Bitcoin will find bankrupts them. <sighs> you know, take heed or ignore it at your peril. So we can say I've told, told you it's economically worthless. Uh, but there we go. That's the end of the show. That's been uh, 18 minutes. Hope you enjoyed it as ever. Be aware. Take care. Stay safe out there and we'll see you in the next one.